Aloha. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a WinPE ISO file that you can boot into uh, to do things like uh, capture images of an existing operating system. So I've already downloaded the Windows AIK and installed it onto my machine. So now I'm going to go to start and I'm looking for the deployment tools command prompt. Right click on this and then run as administrator. Click through my UAC control. And here's my command prompt. I've loaded some important utilities into my path and now we're ready to get started. And I can type copy PE and this is the copy PE utility. This is for the uh, Windows pre-installation environment and I need to specify the architecture and a working directory. Okay, so the options I have I can type x86 for my architecture depending on the platform you're trying to use you can do AMD 64 or IA64 if you're working on the Iconium architecture but for today we're going to use x86 and then I can specify C on WinPE and my files are copied now if I look in this directory I see there's uh, this is my boot sector file I'm going to need to make this uh, ISO image bootable on a PC uh, CD DVD drive. This ISO folder is where all of the source material is going to go for the ISO I'm going to create. There's a mount point directory and then this winpe.wim. This is the Windows image file that actually has the winpe uh, Windows pre-installation environment available. So the first thing I need to do is copy winpe.wim into the ISO sources folder. So I'm going to copy uh, winpe.wim into the C winpe ISO. And I'm just using some tab completion here and I'm going to call this boot.wim. Then I'm going to grab the image X file, which is copy C colon backslash program files, Windows AIK tools, x86, image X. And I'm going to put it in the C WinPE ISO folder. And now I can use my OSCD IMG utility for the. Uh, I'm going to create the CD image, and I can do this. We have the OSCD IMG that I need to specify some options, and then I need a source location and a destination file. Okay, so. My options I'm going to use include N and B. N allows me to use long file names in, for my ISO file, and B allows me to specify where the um, boot sector file is located that I'm going to be able to need to make this uh, CD image bootable. So we'll specify this first. Note the location of the boot sector file goes right after the dash B there's no space here. Okay, so dash B, C colon, uh, win P, P, E, E, T, F, S, boot dot com. Then I'm going to go C colon, win P, E, ISO if, as my source uh, location. And then I'm going to say C, uh, C colon, uh, win P, E dot ISO. And now I'm writing my files. And in four minutes, I've created an ISO image. I can go see the period and dir star.iso. And here's my WinP ISO file that I can then use, burn it to a DVD, mount it to a virtualization service like VirtualBox, and boot into the pre installation environment. Mahalo.